हेलो एवरी वन इन टूडेज वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस वी एल एस एम वेरिएबल लेंथ सबनेट मास्किंग इन एफ एल एस एम वी यूज टू डिवाइड द नेटवर्क इन टू स्मॉलर सब नेटवर्क ऑफ फिक्स पार्ट बट हेयर आर सब नेटवर्क वुड हैव डिफरेंट नंबर ऑफ होस्ट इन द क्वेश्चन हेयर टू डिवाइड अ सब नेटवर्क इन टू Divide a network into five smaller sub networks for class C IP address. Here, the first network would have sixty hosts, and the other two would have thirty hosts, and the last two would have two hosts respectively. So, in uh, VLSM variable and subnet masking, we take the host bits from the end. and the leftover bits they are added to the network id part for example for 60 hosts we require 62 ip addresses first because first and last are reserved that is why we have to add two more for 30 we need 32 and for two hosts we need four i have added these last two hosts for those routers only so let me focus on the first sub network in the first sub network we have we need 62 ip addresses the power of 2 that is closest to 62 what is that it is 2 raised to the power 6 that is 64 so in class c the last octet is for host bit from the host bits we take the last we, we take the six bits from the end from the right side that means this bit this third fourth fifth and sixth these six bits are a part of host bit and the these two would be now become a part of our network bit so the subnet mask for this one would be Two fifty five point two fifty five point two fifty five point one twenty eight plus sixty four. That is one ninety two. For thirty hosts, we need thirty two IP addresses. The closest power of two to thirty four is two raised to the power five, which is thirty four itself. So from the right side. we take the five bits first five bits and they are for our host addresses the now these leftover three bits they become a part of our network address so the subnet mask for this sub network would be 255.255.255.128 plus 64 plus 32 that is 224 For four IP addresses, the closest power of two is two raised to the power two, which is four itself. So we save the last two bits because two raised to the power two is four, and the leftover six bits they become a part of our network address. So the new subnet mask for four IP addresses is two fifty five point two fifty five point two fifty five point two fifty two. Similarly here, now I would divide the IP addresses. I usually start from the sub network that has the largest number of hosts. it has 64 it can accommodate 64 connections so we would add 63 to 198.10. point 0 point 0 for the next sub network the connections would start from 64 1 greater than 63 
it can accommodate a maximum of 32 because 2 raised to the power 32 so I would add uh, 31 to 64 which would give me 95 now this would start from 96 we would once again add 31 which would make it 127 now this one would start from 128 and I would add 3 131 This would start from 132, we would add 3. These are the different ranges of the IP addresses for the sub networks we will have. Now let's move to the Cisco packet tracer and implement. We will once again choose 1841 router. I need to add one more port here because 1841 router by default has only two ports so it can go for only two connections and don't forget for port you need to use WIC1 enet This network is going to be my first network with 60 host. This network would be my second one with 30 host. And this one would be the part of the third sub network with 30 hosts. And these two would be the fourth and the fifth one respectively with four number of hosts. Don't forget to change the subnet mask. Here it is 192. First network is done. It starts from 64 and uh, ranges till 95. So here I would make 65 the first network, the gateway.
second network is also done now towards the third network this ranges from 0.96 to 0.127 so here i will put 0.97 subnet mask would be the same as the previous one 224 for now we are working over the fourth network I would give this an IP address of 129 it would have a subnet mask of 0.252 if you put an incorrect one suppose 224 this one would show an error don't forget to put the subnet mask Connections have been made, IP addresses have been allocated. Now I would do the static routing part. The steps for dynamic routing is the same but there is only one thing. You cannot use the graphical user interface. For dynamic routing you have to go to the CLI. This router 3 knows about this network and this network. I have to tell him about this network, this network and this network. Let's start with this one. this network added now I would add this network because these two they have the same subnet mask now I would add this network for um, this fifth one I not only have to change, change the network but I also have to change the subnet mask Here are the subnet mask is 252. Add it. For router 3 done. Now router 2.
For this network, the next stop is Router 3, which has an IP address of 129. For this connection, Router 5 is the next stop. This subnetwork has an IP address of 96. The subnet mask here is 224 and the next stop is 133, 134. Router 4 also done. Now router 5. For router 5, router 4 is always the next stop and it has an IP address of 133. I will add firstly this network which has a subnet mask of 255.255.255.192 Then this one would be my second network The next hop here is 224 And then the last network Subnetwork, this one. The subnet mask here is 252. Add. Everything done, let's check the network by sending a message. First few would fail, first one failed. Let's see the second one. This one also failed. Let me check the third one. It should be successful. Oh no, this one failed. Now, it was sent successfully. Now, all three messages has been sent successfully. Now, no message should fail. message sent successfully the first one failed but the second one was successful so this was variable length subnet masking here we divide our network into smaller subnetworks according to the number of hosts we need so this saves a lot of ip addresses for us that's all we had to discuss thank you